Hi, this is Jim Montague, Executive Editor of Control Design Magazine. We're here at PAC Expo 2007, and we're going to be talking to FKI Logistics about their new high-speed dual-arm robot palletizing system. Come on, let's go. Hi, folks. Joe Feely here at Control Design Magazine. Now, let's face it. It's been very difficult for us to get you guys, and by you guys, I mean the machine builders out there, to write to us, email us, or call us and tell us what you think about our editorial content. And quite honestly, there hasn't been an easy place online for you to do that or to start a conversation with one of your peers about some automation subject that's important to you. Well, now you can at Machine Builder Forum on ControlDesign.com. Just recently, there was a posting about some concerns about automation components that are counterfeit getting into this country. Another posting that wondered where are all the new engineers going to come from when the old ones die off. And a more recent one was wondering even about the possibilities of wireless motion control. So try it out. ControlDesign.com's Machine Builder Forum. Give it a try, and I think you'll find it's a place you want to come back to. Hi, Jim Montague here. I'm talking with Frank Pellegrino, VP for Machine Products at FKI Logistics. Frank, how are you today? I'm doing very well. Good, Thank you. Good to see you. Uh, we're going to be talking about FKI Logistics' new high-speed dual-arm robot palletizing system. And we're going to find out some more about the company first, and then we're going to learn about the engineering. Uh, Frank, can you tell us a little bit about FKI? Certainly. Uh, FKI is a uh, London-based company, but with major operations throughout North America. Uh, the St. Louis operation is known as our um, uh, manufacturing systems group, mm -hmm. and we're focused on high-speed palletizing, case handling, high-speed sortation, and anything that's in a case or a carton we handle. Cool. And, and, and most of your customers are in what kind of industries themselves? Well, most of our customers are in the business of manufacturing a product. Food, beverage, paper products, things mm -hmm. of that nature. We do a little bit in, uh, little bit in pharmaceutical, quite a bit in uh, other industries like personal care. The concept of robotic palletizing has been coming on strong for the last 10 years right. or so. And uh, as line speeds increase and customers like the basic idea of robotic palletizing, but with a single arm, it's difficult to, uh, to keep up with the capacity. So what we have here, and Pat O'Connor will address it in more detail, but uh -huh. what we have here are two arms working in tandem with a single processor to achieve some extraordinarily high palletizing rates. And that addresses what the customers are looking for, Absolutely. the higher speed. Absolutely. Cool. Terrific. Um, I guess what kind of throughput is it able to do that wasn't able to be done in the well, past. Well, with this size package, uh, what you're seeing behind me here is yeah. roughly 50 cases per minute. Wow. With smaller packages, and depending on how many articles are picked at one time, we're achieving rates up to 100 uh, cases per minute. We're talking to Pat O'Connor, Product Manager for Palletizing Systems at FKI Logistics, and we're going to learn a little bit more about why the dual-arm palletizing system is so cool. Pat, how are you today? I'm doing well. All right. I, I guess the main thing, you know, readers always want to know is, is, you know, how what was the genesis of the system's development? This concept came about to address the need of higher speeds in robotic palletizing and compact footprints as well. Mm -hmm. There's been a tendency in robotic palletizing to this point to preform segments of the pattern or layers when rates got high. Right. And that really brings you back to the conventional palletizer and also some increased space requirements. The first cell we did of this type was for a customer who also needed four-way orienting of the packages. Okay. So they had a, a label face that they wanted on all four sides of the load. Mm -hmm. And trying to preform that with conventional machinery was going to require too much space and, and too many components. The robot, in comparison, can turn all the cases with the servo wrist so it provides gentle handling and tremendous flexibility. And here we are using two smaller arms uh -huh. because smaller, lighter arms are much faster. They can build a load that's uh, approximately 75, 80 inches tall. And as Frank mentioned previously, this, this uh, robot cell is running 50 to potentially 60 cases per minute as it's shown here. Was there, you know, any challenges as this was being developed or, you know, um, as you went along, problems mm -hmm. that had to be resolved? There were, there were things to consider regards tooling, particularly with this cell, because we wanted to palletize 
and then be able to depalletize right. so that we could run the, the robot cell back in the palletizing mode. So what we did here was we incorporated a tool change device uh -huh. so that we can build the load at high speed with clamp tooling, which allows right. the robots to run fast. Uh -huh. And then we can depalletize a couple of layers off of the load with vacuum tooling. Was there any, you know, difficulty or, or uh, you know, obstacles to be overcome with coordinating the two robots within the system? It takes a little bit of additional programming, uh -huh. but the two robots are running off of one processor really? that's okay. directing the movements of both. Yeah. What, what kind of motion control software do you use? Or, or? Well, these are Motoman EPL80 arms, uh -huh. okay. and they are using Motoman NX100 controllers. Ah, okay. All the, right. The CPU has been taken out of one of the controllers uh -huh. so that one has control over both. One thing we try and do now is incorporate a, a, an HMI that operators are comfortable with that uh -huh. is a traditional product like an Allen Bradley right, Panel right. View well, Plus in this instance. I guess we need to. Here so, we're using a, a Panel View Plus, which is interface to the robot controller through a PLC in this case, right. although it can be interfaced directly using DeviceNet. Wow, what a great interview. If your company or one of your customers has designed and built a machine with exceptional automation and controls, the Control Design Machine Builder Spotlight is a great place to highlight it. We're always looking for companies and their machines to put in our machine builder spotlights. So give us a call or email us and tell us what you've got. Whether you're at a trade show or in your own facility, we can come to you to put you in the spotlight.